Hey, this is Jerry Visca, your why guy and author of the new book, Influence, a very exciting time. This is an autobiography featuring 11 women inspiring change. And chapter one just is mind blowing because it's with Tosca Reno, who I am live with right now. Tosca, welcome. Good morning. Well, or good day, wherever you are. <laughs> you know what? I'm uh, really, really excited about sharing with all of you some insights into into what Tosca is all about in this chapter and you know Tosca your story is what I call their story you know you're someone that's so relatable so real and I love stories so how can your story inspire the influence in everyone reading this uh, Jerry the most incredible storytellers in the world have been those who have told um, the, the authentic stories, the stories that help others, and, and that's what really creates influence. Um, it, it's not about me so much as it is the lessons I've learned and how I can translate those into something uh, practical for others. And so, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about the greatest storytellers of the ages, and I'm thinking about how I can take the experiences that I've had and and help um, help others transform their lives and to be influential I think you you have to hang your ego on the door and you have to get down on the ground and put your arm around those who are hurting in trouble needing guidance needing light and you have to have the courage to tap into your authentic self in order to make that happen so every day is a new adventure um, you know, I, I've been tested heavily in the last few years, and you see I have a smile on my face. I even now am, am able to say uh, thank you for those lessons, because I know that the difficult lessons are the ones where I have the most opportunity to grow. And, and that's the story that I intend on telling, that's the story that I have been telling, and that is where I can make a significant difference and an impact in someone else's life. I love that. I love that. This is a real honor for me. Uh, I was very emotional after I interviewed you. Um, you didn't see the tears after with me, but I get very, very emotional when I, when I do these interviews. And a lot of people ask me, you know, it's another reason why I choose in the last couple of books to, to do autobiographies is because I really believe in the power of stories. And I know that you do as well. And it's why I, I choose to to use stories as a way to really influence us and inspire us. So what was the experience like for you getting really uh, raw and real with me? What was that like for you? Well, I think I had gotten to a point, Jerry, where I was ready. You know, we spend a lot of our lives getting ready to be ready to be ready. <laughs> and I, I might have been very busy in the previous years working on my exterior self and what I thought others wanted from me and neglected to listen to what I needed. So being able to tell my authentic story, the untold story, the, the raw story, the parts that I thought, well, people don't really want to know this, that was very, you know, it was frightening at the same time as it was liberating. Um, and so, and, and you know, I had some emotions too. You, you may have had them, but it, it was very emotional for me as well. Because when we, tell our true story we really are aligned with our true self um, and you can feel that when you, you feel that energy coursing through you i love that i love that tosca my last question to you know as we're getting ready to kick off the, the release of, of influence uh in the next two months is coming out in july what do you want readers to experience the minute they open up and they they go through your and it, it is truly an extraordinary story it's very touching. What do you want them to experience? I think I want them to experience the spark, Jerry. Um, you know, it's interesting you ask that question because I, I met you for the first time last year in August at the World Fitness Expo uh, at the Women Who Influence Luncheon. And there were a group of women sitting at the table. And the whole movement um, about influence really is, you know, when you when you spread your aura of, of goodness and experience and authenticity to others will someone else catch the spark and I got to tell you I'm dressed up today not only to speak to you but I'm going to hear someone who attended that 
luncheon last year speak for the very first time. She set a goal at that table almost a year ago to become a voice. And uh, so, you know, I, I'm going to hear her speak. And that's what influence is. It's being willing and confident enough in your true self to share that truth and to hope, hopefully light the spark that will help someone else find theirs and find their voice and take their strength and their learning and their light to a higher level. I love it. I, I love it. It just, it brings me to tears. You know, there's a lot of books out there, as you know, Tosk, and you've written some brilliant books. And especially in the last little while, we're seeing this onslaught of just, you know, self-help book after self-help book. Something very special about influence, it's an energy. And together with you, I'm really on fire to create a ripple of influence with Tosk and Jerry creating and inspiring 11,000 new influencers in the world. And people can be a part of that, just like they're, you know, the way you've influenced this individual today. And that's what it's all about. So be a part of this energy of influence. These stories are gonna, are, are gonna just touch your soul. In, in addition to that, there's, you know, in, chap, in Tosca's chapters alone, there's you know, dozens of insights and in what it took for Tosca to become someone of influence. It wasn't easy. And I tell you, this chapter is going to give you a real uh, glimpse as to how challenging it was. But here we are, Tosca's next chapter. Uh, I'm so honored to be a part of it. And you can be a part of it too. jerryviska.com slash influence and start gathering your team, your team of 11 people that can uh, order their set and work with Tosca and I, because we'll be offering time you know, to people that are part of this ripple of influence. So Tosca, any final words from you as you venture out? Uh, Jerry, yes. I think what I want to say is that influence, your book, the magazine, the movement is really an invitation. And you are gifted this invitation to participate more fully, not only in your life, but also in the lives of others to make that difference that we're all capable of making and that we're all looking for. I love it. I love it. Tosca, this is your book as much as it is mine. And I'm so honored to have you a part of this journey. Thank you so much for making such a wonderful influence on the world. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you also for embracing me into your family and into your influence. Thank you.